Three, Three two, two, one. What is this? It's a bunch of spy gadgets. Is that what this is? I think so. Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the Matt and Rebecca channel. Okay, and we actually just came up to the roof right now because we heard this mystery box land on our roof and we have no idea why it was sent here, but it looks like we have a supply drop sent by the Game Master. We think this was dropped by a drone, but we just opened it, and inside there are a ton of spy gadgets. You guys know that we figured Wait, out that, what? Was that in the distance? Is that another drone? What if they're trying to track us? Okay, we gotta take this inside. I wonder if they know we have this. Shut the door. There is so much stuff inside of here. I'm glad that we're inside, because it feels a lot more safe. Is this like a... A microphone or a, oh, it's no, like it's a camera. Surveillance camera. It's like a spy camera. Oh my gosh. This is just like the box from the Sunken City. Yeah. Did you find this? Yeah, I found a silver one and you found the black box. Exactly. Okay, let's see if we can open this. Three, two, one. Whoa, it didn't even need a code. That's why it didn't need a code. Because someone already put spy gadgets in it. These are like ninja gadgets. Look, it, look, it looks like a robot of some sort. This is called a laser trap alarm. You set this one up like right here. Look at it. Oh, red lights went on. You turn this one on and it sets up like a little, oh, oh. see, the light just went off. Whoa, this is like the laser escape room we did, Matt. I think it's setting up right now. Oh, it's activating? It tried to impede the light. Just like go through it? Yeah. Oh! oh! We could use these and put them in front of our house so if someone tries to break in, we would know. It's like an electric laser trip alarm. Why are we getting all of these spy gadgets though? Is there anything else in there? It looks like a decoder of some sort. Matt, this decoder is braille. We've used this before or something like this. I don't know if it was the exact same one. That's from CVX with Chad Wild, Clay V. Quaint, and Steven Share. Yes, we all had these, all of the different YouTubers. And this is how we figured out the code. Look, there's a top secret envelope, Matt. <gasps> Our apartment's been it's compromised. Been, we have to go. Okay, it says go to rendezvous point number one. Where's that? I don't know rendezvous point one. Is there any information in here that's gonna tell us exactly where to go? Maybe it's in the top secret envelope? Yeah, look I don't in that know. one, I'm gonna look in this one. It's gotta be like a riddle or a clue. It looks just like drawings. Is there anything that says rendezvous point number one? Matt, look. I'm looking on. This says classify. Rendezvous point one. The secure location you analyzed fingerprints. Your watch will guide you. I never did fingerprints. I did. I tried to fingerprint Stephen Scher and Chad Wild Clay. Where, where is that at? That's at the office. So we should go to the office. Okay. That's the place where we're gonna be safe. Are we supposed to set up all this stuff there? I don't know. We need to take okay, it though. Okay. Pack it all up. Do you have everything? What if this has something to do with the date? The 20th of this month? Gosh, the same thing as in the lipstick on the, on the ground in there. Come on. Let's go. We are almost here right now. We just got up the elevator. We're heading up to the office. I have the black this? box in my backpack, okay. so I didn't have to hold it. I have everything else right here. It's not big. It's not a big room. Okay. We made it. Okay, this is exactly what he was talking about. So we need to actually, I think, I think what the Game Master's trying to tell us right now is that we need to set up all of this equipment in this room. To make it a control room. It's a control room. I'm gonna put the black box here. I think that the Quadrant might be looking for us because we have that. Okay, I think there's a lot of stuff we need to kind of reconfigure in here. I don't think we need this anymore. Maybe we'll use it in another video at some okay. point, you guys, but we can't use this right now. We've got a lot of stuff to set up, so let's just take all this stuff down right here. Okay. This out of the way. Matt, I've never set up a control room. I don't know how to do it. I've never done it either. I'm not a hacker. I'm not good with computers. <laughs> I know. So do you want to open this up real quick? It looks like this is a monitor. Whoa. Oh yeah. Here's the monitor, Matt. Okay. Okay, it looks like it just sets up like that. Whoa, there's two monitors. Two, maybe there's one for each of us. Okay. This is the surveillance camera. Where should we put this? I don't know. Maybe that's like the way that he's gonna be able to talk to us. Maybe I'll just set it right here for now. If you guys know why the Game Master might have sent us all this top secret spy equipment and why he wants us to set this control room, let us know right now in the comment section below. I think it has something to do with the date coming up. The lunar eclipse? The lunar eclipse, exactly. Look at this. What is that? It's a Google Home Hub. We'll set this up over on the other side, okay? Like a ninja spy communication device. What else do we have in there, Beck? Why on the earth would we need that? It just looks like a police alarm. It, maybe it'll go off to warn us or something. Oh. Like if the drone's above us. Okay, monitors are all set up right now. I think we actually 
can't figure out exactly what's going on here. There was a list in here. It looked like we had the first rendezvous point, which brought us here. But there's a few more. Look at this. The event is coming soon. Don't let time escape you. Escape? Like we're gonna be trapped somewhere. Or like maybe it's another escape room. This is rendezvous point number two. It says you've spent 24 hours here. Just don't drop. Maybe it's somewhere high. Where have we spent 24 hours? We did it in the hidden room in our garage. Let us know in the comment section down below if you know what rendezvous point number three and two are. I think this has to do with the 24 hour challenge though. Maybe look at the 24 hour challenges we've done. I think it has something to do with that. So these were like blueprints. Is this a drum set? Yeah, these are drumsticks. This is like a, a hi-hat. This is for a snare. Matt, you don't have a drum set. Mm -mm. I used to drum, so I know what the mechanics are of that, but... There's gotta be a reason we have this. Wait, Kurt Hugo Schneider. You guys remember the music video that Matt did on Kurt mm -hmm. Hugo Schneider's channel? Uh, Happy Now. I think Happy Now. Yeah. What if there's a clue at his house like, he might have a drum set. We we should check. Maybe we should hang these up here just to kind of remember everything. Okay. Let's continue setting up everything. Okay. Okay, Matt, while well, you're finishing setting up, I'm gonna get the black box because the Zan fam, you guys left a ton of comments that was a code, a three-digit code, and I'm hoping that that's to unlock the black box. So you guys said the Game Master is using emojis right now, and the emojis have numbers. Now, Matt and I can't see the video, so we don't know what the numbers are. You guys remember when I spent 24 hours in the bounce house, I got three emojis and I was very confused as to what it was. It was sunglasses, a tree, and a book. And you guys said that the sunglasses equals one, the tree stands for four, and the book stands for five, which means one, four, five is the right code. Okay, so it looks like there's two three-digit codes. I'm gonna try this blue one first. One, four, five. It didn't work, Zan fam. And look, there's something connected to this, which is really weird. I'm not sure if it's supposed to plug into something or what it does. There's one more lock. It's the silver one. Smash the thumbs up button if you think this is going to work. I really hope it does. One, four, five. Okay, three, two, one. It worked, man. What? You got one open. We got another lock unlocked on this black box. We're getting closer, you guys, to figuring out what is inside and why the quadrant keeps following us to try to get this. Thank you, ZamFam, so much. Again, just keep watching the Game Master videos. If there are any more clues, please let us know because we can't do this without you. Okay, I feel like we have just about everything set up right now. But the only thing is, these monitors aren't working. The, we have a little green light that's flashing down here, but the monitor itself isn't working. Yeah. I just got a DM. It says that we need to plug it in. Plug what in? Plug, these monitors are plugged in. Everything's plugged in. It doesn't make any sense. Wait, Matt, on the black box, there was there was the plug. I saw the three digit code for this one, but this one has, has this kind of thing. It looks like it needs to be plugged into something. Okay, let me see that. It looks like an iPhone charger. We just plug in our iPhone? We might as well try. Okay, comment below. I think this will work. Here we go. Yes, we did it. Okay. Is now completely secure. Great work. Consider this a safe zone for all further missions. Your mission, if you choose to accept it, is to locate a key member of the quadrant. Your Zampan has left a number of comments on the video of your mission. Oh my gosh, what is this? That is. They noticed that this individual what? was following Rebecca, spying on her. I'm providing you with that. I didn't even see that. For further analysis. Oh, okay. And Matt and I have to get these boxes. Okay, there he is right there. Is in time. Are they in Zamfan merch? Let's slow this down a little bit. I think that's gonna be the next clue. And Matt and I have to get these boxes. Look. He's right there. It looks like Zamfan merch. We need to go a little bit slower. Okay, hold on. Okay. Okay, let's go a little bit closer, okay? Okay. Yeah, we're gonna analyze this now. Oh my gosh. A little bit further. Okay. Yes, look at him right there. I did not know someone was spying on me there. He doesn't even look like he has a mask on. Let's see if we can run matching analysis on this, okay? Okay. We got a match. Okay. We've located the individual All right. at this escape room. <gasps> we hacked into a street camp to gather this footage.
It looks like he's going in that escape room, but where is it at? I don't know. It's it's a decoy. The escape rooms are decoys. That's Look. where they use as their hideout. He's actually showing us right now. I don't think we've been there before. Huh. Do you guys know exactly who this person is? We think he might be part of the quadrant. At, at least I think so. What if he's a YouTuber? He could be a YouTuber. If you guys know exactly who that person is, it doesn't look like it is the Game Master as the person has no mask or anything whatsoever. And they had like a, a black hoodie, but it yeah. had something across the front. Yeah, I thought it was Zamfam merch at first, but then it looked different. But what's interesting, it's not the Rebecca's Molo twin either. Nope. Because there's no hair like mine. It's definitely a guy. So what do we do? We need to go and figure out exactly where this escape room is and go find this guy. We're gonna let you guys vote. Do you guys think that we should go and find out who this person is or not? Yes or no? Yes, we should or no, it's not safe. Let's see what you guys decide.